Bruh. Ginger Runner. What is up, everybody? Ethan Newberry, the Ginger Runner, here for another GingerRunner.com review. Two reviews today, both from Nike. You are currently watching my review of the brand new Nike Kyger 4. It's not the only review I dropped today. I also dropped my review of the Wild Horse 4, both brand new trail shoes from Nike, both vastly different. And by watching both reviews, you'll see which shoe I prefer. Actually, it's not gonna be hard. One thing to note before we get started with the Kyger 4 review, this and the Wild Horse version 4 are very similar to the previous versions. I have links to my reviews of those previous versions in the descriptions of both videos, so make sure you go watch those, get familiar with what I thought about version three of both shoes. There's a lot of carry over here. One thing that I certainly liked is that they didn't change much in the Kyger 4. They improved the upper, fit and finish. There's a couple of things I'm going to note. You'll notice that they did away with a bit of the burrito styling. The number of fly wire attachments has been reduced considerably across the lacing system, but otherwise it rides just like version 3, which rode like version 2, and I enjoyed both very much. Version 4, I have run, trained, attempted to race a lot with this year for the last couple of months. I'm very pleased with it. I'm going to tell you a lot of the things that I like about this new version and some of the things I dislike in today's review. Let's start, as always, with things that I like. Noting, of course, that the previous version's likes and dislikes will essentially carry over. First of all, simplicity. The shoe takes advantage of just a simple upper with a couple of layers of mesh, flywire system atop a midsole material, and a solid outsole with plenty of grip, lots of flexibility, has Nike zoom pockets in the midsole. Nike continues to nail that more reduced trail running shoe. It's going to be a comfy, adaptable shoe for those of you who like that sort of thing. Minimal change. Now listen, I'm all about a shoe manufacturer improving a shoe. That's something that I would love to see, making it lighter, making it more efficient, materials being changed in favor of comfort. Sometimes manufacturers will attempt to improve a shoe when in reality it takes it back a step or more. Plenty of puns intended on that. It's like going to your favorite pizza place and then them telling you that they decided not to use cheese anymore because it provided too much moisture and you're like, give me the cheese. Why would you take that away from it? makes no sense. Pizza without cheese is just toast with liquid tomato on it. Let's delete it. So this is great. This is a shoe that didn't change much. Some of the changes here in the upper with the lacing system, they were minimal, didn't take away from the ride of the shoe. That makes me happy because I like the previous versions. That's a good thing. But some of the things that they did change contributed to some of my dislikes with version four of the Kyger, starting with weight gain. Both new versions of the Wild Horse and the Kyger version four have added weight to the shoe, somehow, magically, and mysteriously. Kyger 4 is about a half ounce heavier than Kyger 3 in the same size of shoe. Some might not consider that a large weight gain, but a minimal weight gain can contribute a lot in the long run. I'm guessing it's because of the additional layers here in the mesh, more sock-like fit with the materials that kind of wrap around your midfoot along the tongue. Just be aware that the shoe does gain a little bit of weight of the previous version. Still a good little piggy. The fly wire lacing system. Previous version. Plenty of fly wire along the midfoot allowed for a really nice snug tight fit over the midfoot. By changing the layers on the inside of the shoe that wrap around your foot a little bit tighter and reducing the number of fly wire elements to just four here along the top, I don't feel like I get quite as solid a fit. Mainly because the fly wire system, in addition to the holes that the laces come through from the manufacturer, when you tighten the laces, they don't pull on the fly wire. So you're not actually engaging the technology that they incorporated for a better fit. They don't really work in unison. If you were to unlace the laces and put them just through the fly wire, it might start working, but that's against the manufacturer's recommendations of how to use that lacing system. All very odd. It wasn't a huge issue. It's just a surprise to me that they would change it from something that I thought worked pretty well. And finally, I will say that this should have applied to the previous version as well, but that's an additional ankle lace hole. You do not have that additional loop that you can put the laces through to get a tighter lock around the ankle. As I talked about in the previous review, there's more structure here in the heel cup, which is a good thing. Definitely contributes to a better fitting heel. But one way to keep that totally locked in would be to add that additional hole here in the upper along the ankle, get that additional sport, additional tightness would be nice, but that's pretty much it for dislikes. Carries a lot over from the version three, and that makes me happy. Way too much rhyming in both of these reviews. So you're probably wondering, hey, how about those points? Quality, great materials carried over from version three, four out of five, it's a solid quality, highly durable Nike, which is just kind of a surprise to me, which is great. Comfort, more comfortable than the Wild Horse, in my opinion, four out of five, solid comfort, have been using this for long runs, short runs, muddy runs, as you can tell, because my hands are completely covered in mud, but also dry technical runs, it, does, it just does it all, comfort comfortably, which is good. Price at $125, it's that fine line between a three out of five and a four out of five, but because I feel like you do get a lot of shoe for your buck here, something that will last you a while, you'll be able to race and train in it, I'm gonna give it a solid four out of five. And finally looks, again, not the most attractive version right here, but there are other color versions that are more attractive, both men and women's versions. Solid four out of five on looks, bringing our grand total to 16 out of 20. You guys like that. So that brings us to the question, is this a buy, a try, or a why? 
I give these a good buy or try, depending on what your budget is, if you guys even need new trail shoes, but if you can afford them, solid buy. If you need to go try them on first, which I do recommend, especially with this and the Wild Horse, a bit different in size and give them a try. Lots of good grip, lots of good durability, lots of good drainage, all that good stuff worth looking into the Nike Zoom Kyger 4. So that is it for today's review of the Kyger 4. Don't forget, I also have a review of the Wild Horse 4. You want to check that out, link in the description, or, you know, just click over there. It's going to pop up somewhere. If you want to find out more information about the Kyger 4 or Wild Horse 4, and you want to get a pair for yourself, I have links in the description to Running Warehouse. You get a discount by using the discount code if you want. It's a lot of good stuff. Check it out. In the comments, let me know, have you guys tried either the Kyger 4 or the Wild Horse 4? What do you think? Always open to your guys' opinions. Let's get the dialogue going. And that is it for today's review of the Kyger 4. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, favorite, and subscribe to this channel. New videos twice a week. I've got all those social media links you may want to follow if you want to help support the channel. You can do so very simply by going to patreon.com slash thegingerunner for as little as a buck a month that keeps the whole channel alive. Consider it if you have not already. There's some cool perks on the back end. But otherwise, that's it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and watching this review. See you next week. Get out there, train hard, race harder, and party the hardest. I know I am. We'll see you guys then. Bye!